Understanding long-term versus short-term orientation in writing. Hello, English learners. Today, we're diving into a crucial aspect of English language communication, understanding cultural differences. Specifically, we'll focus on long-term versus short-term orientation. This concept is key to understanding how different cultures communicate, particularly in written form. So, grab your notebooks and let's get started. Long-term orientation, often associated with Eastern cultures, refers to the value placed on traditions and perseverance, focusing on the future and enduring immediate challenges for long-term rewards. In contrast, short-term orientation, commonly found in Western cultures, emphasizes the present or the near future. There's a focus on quick results, individualism, and personal freedom. In writing, this might manifest as differences in tone, formality, directness, and the level of detail provided. A letter written with a long-term orientation might focus on building or maintaining relationships, while a short-term oriented letter may focus on getting straight to the point. When writing with a long-term orientation, there might be a tendency to provide context, honor traditions or norms, and consider the long-term implications of the communication. For example, if you're writing a business email to a long-term oriented culture, it may start with personal greetings or comments about the recipient's health or family. The main point might be introduced gradually, and the language used may be somewhat indirect to maintain harmony. On the other hand, when writing with a short-term orientation, the approach might be more direct, with a focus on achieving immediate objectives. An email might go straight to the point, and the language used may be more assertive. The writer may also focus more on facts, figures, and evidence, rather than on maintaining harmony or following traditional norms. In your writing, consider the cultural orientation of your recipient. This awareness can help you tailor your message more effectively, fostering better understanding and communication. Are they from a long-term or short-term oriented culture? Would they appreciate a personal greeting or prefer you get straight to the point? By being aware of these differences, you can make your written communication more effective. That wraps up our discussion on long-term versus short-term orientation in writing. Remember, effective communication isn't just about what you say, it's also about understanding the cultural nuances of your audience. As you continue your journey in English language learning, be mindful of these differences, they can make a big difference in your written communication. We hope this video has been helpful. Happy writing, everyone!